<laughs> and here we go. Looks like everything's running. Sound seems to be working. Oh, the stream elements bot jumped in fast tonight. I don't know if there's any deaths on here from last time, but let's make sure. Let's make sure that we start fresh. Ah, <sighs> this is going to be interesting tonight. I think, I hope, I hope it'd be interesting for folks. What I really want to do is make sure that um, we answer questions that people may have about how sorcery works. And there's a lot of different videos out there, but I thought, you know, we'd just do it. And I think that way you'll see first hand or second or third hand however many hands it takes to get through the internet how this all works This music is like, go, let's go, let's go. Just a minute, a couple more minutes. I'm going to get all my ducks in a row, make sure everything is where I need it to be. Turn my cell phone down so it doesn't ring in the middle. Hi, Nana May. How's it going? Is sound working all right? You can hear the music in the background and me talking in the foreground and rattling papers and stuff. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> <coughs> Try to do that during the stream. I can't guarantee. You know, we're in the desert kind of setting, and it gets your parched. I got my tea, got my Lipton uh, green tea citrus ready to go. Not sponsored, but hey, Lipton, if you're interested, <laughs> give me a call.
Well, it's 10 o'clock, so that's magic time. I just wanted to uh, start the stream off on, uh, well, I guess a positive note. So let's start with uh, thanks so much for MOI Gaming, our most recent subscriber. Uh, you can see their uh, name down there at the bottom of the screen. Make sure if you're out looking around, check them out. Look them up on YouTube or Twitch and say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the OGs. Um, something exciting happened this morning. Really exciting. I looked at my um, phone when I got up, as I usually do. And surprise, surprise. We have over 4,000 watch hours on All Gamers Never Die. 4,000. Are you kidding me? Thank you so much for everybody who's come out and watched my videos. I am amazed that that people come out and find me interesting enough to watch. <laughs> I never, I, I when when I started doing this and looking at the little um, the little meter, and it just wasn't very moving very fast, and and uh, I was like, I'll never get fourth that out in the world. And you have to do it in twelve months, running twelve months, and I'm like, there's told Nana May, I'm like, I don't know if we can ever do that. That's, that's a lot of watch hours and we're here. We got it. I, I, I'm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all those people who have come out and watch my videos. I can't say it enough times. Thank you so much. And we're, you know, we're moving along. We've got four, uh, 739 subscribers. So we'll be at the 1k mark eh, pretty soon. I'm open. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But yeah, thank you so much. I, I I was completely shocked when we got this close. And then when I saw it this morning, I was like, oh, wow. That is just amazing. So thank you so much. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's get this thing started here, huh? Welcome all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me. This is Julie1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. And we are once again back on the Conan 3.0 test live in exile lands. And tonight's video, what I'm planning to do is walk through, you know, we built the sorcerer's keep last time and, and got it all fixed up. Now I'm not at the sorcerer's keep because you know, I kind of, that's kind of a cheat build. We did it in creative mode and all that kind of good stuff. But what I wanted to show, <coughs> excuse me tonight is how this stuff works. So we talked about, you know, we did last week, we went through the little blooded bloodletting ceremony <laughs> and collection and all that kind of good stuff. But what is it that, that this stuff does and how do you do it? And what do you need? So that if you're playing Conan right now, um, what should you start collecting? Because, you know, if you're playing now, they're saying they're not going to wipe. So yeah, you'll have to be doing some adjustment on your attributes. I've reset them and changed them around a little bit, but that's, this is the, the new setup with the strength, agility, vitality, authority, grit, and expertise, and the little tick marks. And we can go through how those all work. At, uh, at some point, if you feel like that's something that's interesting to you, but what I wanted to focus on is that your knowledge, um, under sorcery, you get by doing stuff. This is not a, uh, knowledge like any of the other ones where it's like, okay, well, we're gonna, um, I click on this and I get the apprentice Mason and I get, you know, go click on each one and spend some points and get. No, nah, the magic doesn't work that way. At least not in the test life. And I'm assuming it'll be this way in the regular thing. And that's one of the mistakes I made working on this thing earlier on is I'm like, I don't want to spend all of my knowledge points on stuff and not have any left over to do the magic stuff. And you don't need them because the way you get the magic stuff is you find spells you build me and make spell pages uh you find the map and you get the stuff to start with and and that's how it all works so so don't worry about oh well i'm gonna have to reset all my skill points i'm gonna have to then i'm gonna have to worry about what can i 
<clears throat> what can I make? What can I not make? I'm sorry. My, my throat is scratchy tonight. What can I make and what can I not make again? And, uh, and no, you don't have to do that. You will have to reset your attributes. That's going to, because they're going to be different. How they're going to manage that, I don't know. But hey, all you got to do is get the yellow lotus flowers, which grow all over the place, and make your, uh, well, I think it was 10, 10 to make the potion. Make the potion and drink it, and then reset all your stuff and, and do it all over again. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. So anybody who's played the game knows where I'm at. There's the two guardians. I'll show you on the map. I'm right here. And the reason I'm right here, I mean, you start out and you come through any one of these areas where you come down the road and through the desert, and then that's where you end up. Um, but I swam, actually, I swam way the heck up here <laughs> the, when I first got here because I was trying to level up my character. And this is a great place to level up, but you're, you don't need to do that for sorcery. I was under the, the impression that I'd get it as I leveled. And it doesn't work that way. Hey, old guy, old games. Old games, old guy, OG, OG, double OG. That's what I need. That's what I need. <laughs> like double O seven, <laughs> double OG. Um, but uh, yeah, so I thought when I first started doing the test live that I didn't. I needed to level my character up. So that <laughs> good uh, that I'd have to get all these levels in and I get them as fast as I could so that I could get the magic. Well, you don't, you don't do it that way. You go and you kill sorcerers that are spawning in all these camps. And once you kill them all, Oh, sorry. That's where I died today. Let me get rid of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's embarrassing. I'm not, I'm not there anymore. My body is gone. Take that away. Delete there. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so I went all the way down here. I made a little camp. I'm, I'm keeping it there because it's an easy entrance into the monkey village. Really cool place, by the way. Um, but I'm back here and that's, and the reason why is because things are all over the place right here. This is, this is like sorcery central. If you really want to think about it that way. And the reason I say that is because if you go right over here and over that direction, we were over there the other day. That's where I had my little, my little wheel set up and all that kind of stuff. You've got this cave that's full of thralls. And, um, and you know, you can set yourself up like I did set a wheel up, set the, um, the, uh, donation station. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it that the wheel of recruitment in the donation station. Hey, Meryl, thanks for coming. Um, so, so yeah. So if you set up right there, you've got a steady stream of thralls. You can go in there and whop on the head and bring out here or, you know, hack them two or whatever you want to do. The good thing is there's a lot of name thralls that you can pull out of here. They're not, you know, treasure seekers or, berserkers or nothing like that, but not bad for feeding the sorcery machine. Okay. So that's one reason. The other reason is because one of the things you're going to need, and we'll go over this as we go through this, but you're going to need a lot of these glass flasks. Say that 10 times really fast. You're going to, you need bunches of them. And to make these, you need crystal. And for again, for anyone who's not familiar or maybe has forgotten because it's been a while since they played, but right across there is a crystal mine right here. Hey, thank you so much for your the new sub caddy player. Appreciate that. <laughs> so that puts us at 740. Wow. Oh. Uh, I'm amazed and for those who just gave, got on 4,000, 4,000 watch hours. I, I, yeah, I'm speechless anyway. Okay. So, so right here is the grotto, right? Who not, who hand and hand a new news hand Hanuman's grotto and in Hanuman's grotto, it's full of crystal. I got like a thousand and I don't have my harvest rate set up. So I got it like a thousand on a, on a run. So lots of glass 
you bring it back, you stick it in your um, your forge and cook it down to glass. You take it over there to your dying bench, whatever this casting table, and make glass flasks with it, and you got what you need to, again, feed the sorcery machine. So two really important resources, one right over there, um, with the, uh, the thrall camp and some name thralls. So you can get you some thralls that, uh, actually can help you, um, you know, knock out other thralls. Um, and the crystal mines right over there <clears throat> puts, this is a really good place. And I don't have the purge turned on because, you know, I don't have a really base. It's just kind of my, my, this is my lab. Like we talked about last week. <laughs> it's just a lab. It's not really meant for purges. But if you were, I love the floating candles. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> but if I was to get purged right now, I, I would probably lose everything over here. But if you do leave the purge on or you're in a server that's got the purge on, this is not really a bad purge. I mean, it's it's like hyenas. Every once in a while, one of the big hyena creatures and people. So it's not like it's horrible um, as far as the purge goes. And you can actually get some decent name thralls from the purge. So not a bad place to set up down here. You got water, um, you can get to stuff. If you get in trouble, you can get in the water so that they can't get you. Um, you've got, um, what are these? They're not highland berries, they're lowland berries. What are, whatever they're called here. Desert berries, that's what they are, to make juice with, which is what I basically hydrate with. I never carry a canteen, I just carry a stack of juice and um, honey, because honey gets me um, filled up really fast. And the juice fills up my water really quick. And and that's pretty good. Actually, the juice has got nerfed. It's, when I used to play years ago, it would like give you refreshment and you could last forever on that stuff. But eh, it still works. Okay, so, so, so those are the reasons why I set up my little laboratory right here. Plus, it's relatively flat. If you really wanted to build a base over here, and we have, this is kind of usually where we build. When we first get started on a, a playthrough on Conan on the private servers, usually up on that little ledge right there because you've got some protection from the um, the purges that come in. Oh, and the the cave over here. The other thing it has is uh, this cave here is full of brimstone. So you're getting thralls, you're getting brimstone, you're getting name thralls, and then right over here, uh, about this area like over in that direction, but over the hill, there's another name thrall that kind of hangs out that uh, it's it's not necessarily a name thrall per se. It's a rotation of th name thralls that hang out over there. So you can snag those as you're coming and going. Um, and then there's also one back down the river that way, over past the uh, the guardian statue that, that kind of rotates out. So you can get you some decent thralls, at least for starters, right here and you don't have to go very far the other uh, like one other thing another reason why i like being over here is because there's metal there's metal nodes around here one back here there's one there and there's a few down there but there's a lot more metal right up the hill here if you go up the hill this way eh, let's go around the corner here If you go up the hill that way, through that little ravine, there's a big, egg, big, huge spider up there you don't want to really mess with, but you can kind of skirt the edges and you get to uh, some metal nodes and this Defari camp has got metal nodes all around it too. So it's just a really good spot to start out with. I, it's not the place that I would probably stay with forever, but it's not a bad place to have a base on. Okay, so that's why I'm here now. Why are you here? Because you want to see magic. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I wanted to go over is the, the therm thermatological bench. We talked, let's get this guy out of the way. He's in the way. Let's, let's, I know you're, you're, you were awesome helping me out getting set up here. He was my first thrall. The Zamorian fighter too. He actually does pretty good, but okay. Anyway, I digress. Squirrel. So here's the bench. And one of the things that, they promised us with 3.0 is that you could take your armor and your 
weapons and things and make them look like whatever you wanted it to be. So you didn't have, you didn't have to have this, like what she's got on, which is a conglomeration, of a bunch of different stuff. You can make it look however you want to make it look. And the, the only trick to that is you have to know the recipes. So if you have a legendary item that you find in the world, you're not going to know the recipe for that. You just won't. So making it something else is not going to work. But if you know the recipe on how to make it, if you've got the blueprints, you've learned it in the, um, the skill tree. Um, so like if I look at my weapons, okay, I've learned the green ones, right? I know those. I don't know the brown ones. I haven't spent the time to do that. I like battle axes. I, I don't usually put points into swords except for to use for my, my uh, followers. But like, as long as I know it, I can make this look like something else, or I can make something else that I know how to make look like this. And it works pretty simply. Like you just, you, you're going to lose the two to make one. Okay. So you gotta be ready for that. So if I'm, I'm going to take, I want, I, I've got this, this ax here, this ancient ax. It looks, it looks cool, but I don't really like it as much as I like the look of this Numidian ax. All right. So I'm going to put what I want it to look like here. And I'm going to put, now we're going to, this is a trial. We're going to, we're going to science this out a little bit because this, this ax is not hundred percent. Um, well, <laughs> it's a little bit broken. It's got some nicks on the edge from my little up into the, uh, the storm <laughs> this afternoon. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to try it. If it doesn't do it, I can go over and fix it, but let's see, let's see what happens if you put it in there. If it's, if it's not hundred percent. Oh, it still works. All right. So this is what I have. That's what I want it to look like. And we're going to hit combine. Watch out. Okay. So now it still looks like what it is in my inventory got the little symbol that says it's been transmorgified but if i yeah see that's what it looked well yeah let's let's there see that's what it looks like doesn't look like it did before it looks like the dominion axe now cool huh yeah, they've they've incorporated. Yeah, Merrill, it's like the mods we've had on the servers. They've incorporated a lot of things from mods into into the uh, three point oh. So you can you can um, transmorgify, if I guess is the word that they're they invented for this. <laughs> your weapons and your armor. So you know, I could right now. This is the armor that I have. Is what it is. It's nothing special. But if I had um, say the uh, Silent Legion armor and the blueprint to make that. I could take a piece of Silent Legion armor and make it look just like this. And you wouldn't be able to tell looking at me that I had Silent Legion armor on. So I, my look stays to be whatever it is that I want it to look like. All I have to do is know the blueprints for both. That makes sense. And it doesn't cost you anything to do it. Whoops. Wrong button. You don't, you don't gain any corruption from doing it. You don't need, you know, everything is cool. It's just, it's just a, just a glimmer. Let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> so, so that's, that's that piece. Now we talked a little bit about how you get the, um, transmography. Didn't that come from Calvin and Hobbes? Probably <laughs> wouldn't surprise me a bit. Um, oh, and uh, one other thing from the, um, the, the, uh, the cave up here, the back of the cave is always going to have a Mithra person back there, priestess, priest, priestess, or a named thrall. And they have this armor on. So when you go back there, if you kill them, you get the armor. If you knock them out, you can, you know. Let's get it on him. I don't want to make him naked or nothing because, you know, it's not full nudity on here anyway. But, yeah, see, I can take the armor off him and I can use it for me. It's decent light armor. It's not great, but it is an armor in the game that you, can, uh, you can't just get by the, um, the crafting skill sets. It's one of the things you have to find. And you don't get a blueprint for it. You can just kill uh, 
crawls and take it, or you can, you know, recruit them and uh, borrow it from them. You know, <laughs> like your, you know, your brother's coat or your sister's sweater or whatever, or you know, whatever you, whatever you're into. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, that's that's the other benefit of being here. Okay, so so that's transmography. You don't transmat transmatergy. There, no, that's not it. Thaw, 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 do <laughs> the matergy bench. Uh, I'm never gonna be able to say that. Uh, it'll be like the Toblerones and the um, the skill saws on Ark. Okay, so we have that. And like I said, that doesn't that doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't make you corrupted. It doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. Now, now we go to spells. So spells, we'll go over here, get out of the way here. And let's get the, oh yeah, I got it on the hot bar. All right, so the staff and the book you get when you kill enough sorcerers to have one of them drop the map. Or, you know, you can ask Dr. DeGool and there's a lot of people that put, you know, the map up and, and show you exactly where the cave is and all that kind of good stuff. I'm not going to do that because I figure that's kind of spoilerish. Um, if you want to find it out, you can do it. Uh, it's not, it's not hard to get to. I'll tell you if you're going to try to get it as a brand new spanking player and you don't have very many levels in, it might be tough because the cave is full of undead shellbacks. And you might be able to dodge and juke your way down a little ways, but there's a bunch of them and they kind of attack in mass as you go down the tunnel. Once you get past them, there's not, there's nothing back there, but you're going to be gaining corruption the entire time you're in there. So it's kind of like being around uh, an obelisk. You're going to start getting corrupted and you're going to start losing your health and your stamina just by being in there. So I would make sure you get to a point where you've got a decent, Thrall, and you've got some decent armor on just to go in there and get your stuff. You don't have to be high, high level, but I wouldn't go there as level one <laughs> unless you're in creative mode. Okay, so we get our staff. Once you get that, once you go in there, you get the book. You uh, The book will allow you to uh, build that, that thermology table, <laughs> and you'll get your staff as well, and that's what allows you to, to perform spells. And you'll actually need to uh, do some spells in there if you want to get all the chests that are in there. And there's several of them in there. All right, to cast a spell uh, on the computer, it's left click and you start your little deal. And you're basically going to select which kind of spell you want by going through categories. So if you remember, when I went through the attributes uh, and under the spell casting, there's a bunch of different symbols. Well, I'm not going to even pretend like I remember what they are, but thankfully, Funcom has decided to put a little helper there on the screen that shows us what they are. So you just look at it, and you can see my little my little dot here that's pointing at it. That's that's the uh, the particular thing. Part the veil of time and space to glimpse the past, present, and future, or wield forces of life, death, and undead, or shape raw forces of nature and reality and itself. So let's just pick that one. All right, so we're gonna if we're gonna go down that tree, sure. we picked that one, and now it's gonna bring up some more choices of the actual spell you're gonna cast. And the more spells you know, the more of these choices you're gonna have to go through. But you'll see each one of them. It says says now I need a burlap pouch, which is my reagents. And that one says I need one burlap pouch, and that one says I need to have twenty percent corruption. So these two, I don't need to be corrupted to cast. This one, I have to be at least 20% corrupted to cast it. I don't have to stay corrupted, and this will give me some corruption whenever I cast one, but I have to be at least that to be able to even cast that one. Okay. Um, since I don't have any of the bags with me right this second, I'm going to hit space bar, blow them all up, and we're going to go back in here and make some bags. Actually made up some small bags already. But... This is what I wanted to, this is the other thing I wanted to make sure I covered in here, especially towards the beginning is what do you need to have to prep for 3.0? You're playing the game now, or you've been playing and you want to know, well, what can I stock up on? Um, is there something out there that I can get right this minute that will get me started on the game or at least give me a head start? And the things are these bags. Um, so to make the, and you make them in the alchemist bench, 
this regular alchemist bench, and then you your required materials. This is the stuff that you can collect today. Uh, for the lowest level bag, the burlap pouch. It's just twine, rotten meat, and and uh, bones. For the higher level spells, you'll need a, a higher level bag. For this bag, you'll need leather, demon blood, gold dust, and bone meal. So grind up bones, grind up some gold, kill some uh, <laughs> some, some one skull animals, and uh, yeah, you'll get some demon blood. And then for the highest level bag, for the highest level skill spells, you'll need uh, thick leather, some of that sacrificial blood from one of those vials, some alchemist base, and you'll need a weathered skull. So those are the things you'll need for the different bags. So we're going to craft. I got some of these. Let's go ahead and craft at least a few of these. And then um, let's craft one of these. Because I've only got one skull, so I can only do one. All right, so that's crafting. Now... The other thing that you're going to want to, um, that you'll get as you go through leveling up your spell book, which you'll get by getting spell pages and you'll get to get more spells is you'll get each time you get ready to write a, a spell page, it'll take, you can either use a papyrus, a, a blood flask and a ink brush, or you can get 10 failed sorcerer spell pages. And you'll find these when you kill the sorcerers out in the world. Um, and you may find spell pages when you go out in the world, but to use these, then you have to get into here and you click on this book here and it'll tell you what you need to do to make the next spell page for the book. You'll need the book, you'll need a spell page, and then you'll need two things. And these get increase, increasingly difficult items to come up with. Okay. So I think the first one was like rotten meat and bone. Okay, had that. And the next one was blood and um, whatever, a, a, a volatile gland. So I could get a few of them pretty quick. I'm at a point, point now where the next one I have to have, I have to have 20 weathered skulls. And the only place to get those is the skellies. And yeah, I got this last night. <laughs> but I got killed and um, so did, well, almost got my... my uh, companion killed Frigga was with me and she got ended up getting killed and I had to go back in there after her. And that was a chore anyway. So, uh, so I'm going to have to go back and get some skulls tonight. So we're going to do that. And it might mean the death counter will rise. We'll see. We'll see how that goes, but I want to do some spells first so we can see how the spells work. All right. So let's go over here. Let's see if our reagents are all crafted. All right. We've got these, we got this and we got this. All right. So you have to have these in your inventory and they're not light. My build, I, I'm, I'm experimenting with different builds. So, mm, you know, we'll see how that goes. I might not keep this as my uh, main build, but I'm trying to get a build that I can recommend to people for solo playing. Because it's, it's, you know, when you got a group of people out there, you can kind of work off everybody's strengths and weaknesses. But when you're by yourself... You have to be, yeah, <laughs> the, you have to be kind of tanky, but you also got to be able to carry stuff and, you know, you got to be a little bit of everything. So right now where I'm, I'm specced out at, I, I, I bumped up my vitality all the way so that I get this glutton for punishment. So I get, if I go the full way on vitality, I get, um, passive health regeneration for me. I get fast healer, which means I could get 50% more healing from whatever healing effect I get. So like the weak aloe potions that you can kind of make in your inventory on the fly, really give me a big bo boost if that's all the healing stuff I can get. Um, then of course the bigger ones give me all, you know, I, I can tank all the way up just about on a regular aloe potion. Robust gives me more health so that I can take more damage. And then this glutton for punishment, when you take damage, you regenerate the last instance of damage taken over 15 seconds. So like, 
if you get walloped really hard, all you got to do is back away. And in 15 seconds, you can regenerate all of the health that you just lost from that smack. Even if you fall damage, like if you fall off a cliff and you're almost dead because it almost kills you, in 15 seconds, you'll be full health again. So that's a really, really good perk to have. Um, and then I've got my authority spec all the way out because I wanted to make sure, one, um, that my active followers, um, well, they go to enemies so that they attack them, not me. Um, I've got them, I've switched off this one. I was using the one where I could heal my, my followers by doing damage to whatever we're, we're, um, fighting, but it doesn't give you a heck of a lot of healing. And as I get bigger enemies, it's, it's getting to be a little bit of a problem early on. It was a good one because it would, I could keep their health pretty well topped up for, you know, alligators and, and minor stuff. But, but as I'm getting up into three skull bosses this isn't really getting it but this one as soon as we stop fighting they start passively gaining their health whether they've got anything in their inventory to eat or not so that's that's a big big help um the attentive care your active followers receive 50 percent increased healing so they they not only regenerate health but they regenerate it faster and then i've got it um i took on the perk here where you can choose one or the other instead of doing the war party where i could carry two followers i've only got one but they get all their um attributes boosted and i showed how that worked on the last video so that's why i've got authority maxed out on grit um tenacity of 20 percent uh gives me more stamina um and then when i got up here i picked endurance which regenerates my stamina 25 percent faster and that's where I'm going to stop here because that's good enough. And the rest of the stuff really doesn't give me a whole lot of <coughs> bonus for a single player. So the rest of the points I'm really going to be putting in strength so that I can carry more stuff and, and take better hits. I want to get up to combo master, which I had before. I just re redistributed things after the, the build video. Um, this gives you 20% on uh, a finisher. So between this and this, it, it may be pretty tanky. These two will make me pretty um, uh, able to support myself with a follower, and then the grit is um, is basically keeps my stamina up pretty good. So that's that's what I'm spec'd at now. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm I just did this yesterday, and I'm still getting used to it. So the the weight gets to me pretty quick. <laughs> anyway, all right. So here we go. So we we are. Um, we're gonna start doing some magic okay so yeah doing the tax strut exactly barely moving all right so let's see if i can do the first one part veil of time and space glimpse of past present and future little forces of life death and undead raw forces of nature okay so this one let's start with this one because this is the spell that you're going to get from the very start not that one but uh frozen bridge so you throw cast this one and you will make a bridge of ice across a chasm now you know obviously doesn't do me any good here on the beach but if you're thinking of going across one of these pillars here or across a, uh, a, a uh, chasm, this comes in really handy. And it goes decently far. It, I mean, it probably would go to that bush out there that I'm kind of circling around if I wasn't uh, impeded. And yeah, how long does it last? Well, we'll see. It does. It, it lasts a decent amount of time. I, the reason I say you're going to cast this the first time is because this is what you'll need when you go to get the book um, in the area that it's, and there it goes. So, you know, what is it? Maybe 30 seconds. Um, plenty of time for you to get across it. You may not be able to get back. That's where um, I ended up having to cast it three times because the, <laughs> the second time I cast it, it went the wrong way. Instead of going up and going over, it went down and it wouldn't get me where I wanted to go. Um, but that's the first spell you'll get and you can use it right away in the, in the cave and you can get to some boxes. And if you have 
a key. There's a legendary box in there that you can open up and get a legendary item out of it. I didn't have a key with me when I went in there. Um, but if you, you know, if you're a place again where you're going to be playing this game, you've already been playing, and you're just going to pick up the sorcery stuff, um, bring a key with you because you get a box. There's a box in there you can just unlock and and get the uh, the stuff. And there's no bosses to fight in there. Once you get past the shellbacks, you're 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 good. Okay, so that's the ice bridge. Um, let me see if I can make it go higher. Let's let's try that just to see just so you can get an idea of how far it goes. Let's go over here. Sure. Now, what you will do is as you start casting these spells, you're going to start picking up corruption depending on the spell. Uh, that is the frozen bridge, right? Let's, let's point that way, see what happens. Yeah, so see, decently far. Not bad. It'll get you across most gaps, right? In a pinch. <laughs> it can get you out of trouble. All right, and you can see up at the top, I'm starting to get just a little bit of corruption. I've cost that thing twice, and I've got, you know, what, like 16th of my bar. So, not too bad. And there it goes. Bye. All right, that, that cost me a little little thing. So let's do another one that's cost me a little one. Um, So let's do... Um, let's see what's the what's this one? Oh, that's the the wind thing. I need to be up higher to do that one. That's really not not helpful. Let's let's do. Um, oh, if you hit spacebar, it just cancels it out. You don't lose anything or, or gain anything. Um, pick something fun. Part the veil of time is now. Let's do this one. Life and death. Let's see what we get out here. Okay, here I can. One of those soul flasks, if I have one of those, then I can put one of those on me and it gives me like a lighted path uh, or puts a light near me so that I have a lighted way to go. And then this spell will um, make light like a torch that, say, that stays in the same place. So like, uh, I don't think I have a soul on me though. Let's see. There we go. There. See, it's going to go there and that's where it'll light up and it'll stay there if i did the other one it would follow me and i got a little bit more corruption on that but again it's a small spell so i don't get much let's do this one again And this is the one that's going to put it on me so that I'll blow in the dark, basically. And that'll follow me around wherever I go for, for a little, you know, a while. That one's still going down there. Some of these spells will go if another one's going. Some of them will cancel each other out, like um, Darkness and Thunderstorm. I don't have the Thunderstorm yet, but... All right, so let's see what's what else we can do. I'm starting to pick up a little bit of corruption, so we can probably do a bigger spell, but let's see what's in this one. There you go. All right, so if we go this way, we got a choice of the ones I know so far. Reveal nearby corruption or focus on rare resources, the natural revealing deposits. So that's going to tell me where good stuff is in the area, so I'll know where to go. And basically, not much over here. <laughs> but you know, if I was in a, if I was going through a cave and I wanted to know where the best stuff was, then that would be one I would want to have so that I can highlight and it'll light up when my uh, staff there will kind of light up an orb on it that gives me the the direction I need to go to get the the goodies. Okay. 
Let's cast another one. I'm building up some corruption because I can cast one of some of the bigger spells here. Um, so then the next one is... Let's do this one. This one is going to be reveal corruption. So if that gator over there was a skull gator, it would probably tell me. So see, I can see my little... See it. See how it's glowing a little bit? There's something around here. Let's see if I can get over here. I'm going to get eaten by this gator probably. Eh, he's not a corrupted one. There must be a corrupted shell back over here. Oh, don't. Don't. Don't even. Yeah, Yay, game to level. Does it give me my little glowy thing back? Nope. Can't get it back now. Still detecting resources, but I lost my corruption because I detect corruption when I bopped that guy. Or else it just ran out. Okay, so there's there's those two. You can't attack with this. It's got a blade on it. I don't know how much damage it does. All right, let's see. What else can we do? We've got... Those were those two. I think we did the two over here. Oh, no, we got three. So we did... Gust of air. We didn't do frozen bridge. This one. Escalate. I don't have 20% corruption yet. So I can't do that one. Let's go up here. I just, it's not a drop, but I'll show you how the wind works. Probably would help if I wasn't so encumbered. Is there anything I'm carrying that I can just dump? <laughs> Not really. Dang it. Okay. My food going. I'll probably need to eat a little bit of something. It, it, I don't know if it's draining it or it's just draining because I'm playing. But it seems like it does start to drain you when you start using a lot of stuff. Doing a lot of spells. All right. So we're tanked back up. All right. So let's do... We'll do the win one. We'll see how that, what that looks like. Oh, that's the wrong one. Dang it. Yeah, this is not a fast thing. <laughs> so if you're playing PvP or you're in the middle of a fight with a, you know, monster, <laughs> it's probably going to take a second. Just the wind. Frozen bridge. Gust of air. Let's do that one. Alright, so this should make like so that I can uh just see it makes me fall really lightly. And I can jump from like a big height. Like up there, I could jump from there and I'd be okay. Oh, cool. It even carries uh, you if you jump a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up here. Find out what happens. Let's do that. We'll just, you know, do some settings here. Make me an admin. Thank you. And we're going to... Oh, I can't do it that way. Um, all right, let's just go up here. I'm not going to add my way through everything tonight, but I do want to just get you an idea of what's going on here. Okay, so... Hammer back off. If we... Get out of admin now. Why not? We're not we're we're, we're science and I'll see if I live through this. Creative mode is off. Um let's see how high we can fly. Sure. 
Gotta get some corruption anyway. Gust of air, slow descent, and make it safe to drop from any height. Well, let's find out. Okay, here we go. Jump. Look at that. Not even hurting. Oh, see, that could be handy. That's probably more handy than the bridge. I, was, I got killed falling down last night. All right, we're getting we're getting some corruption on us. That's good, I guess. You know, for casting other spells. Um, is there anything else that we can cast? Let's do. Yeah, you know, I, the problem I had is I got to a place where the um, the top of the cliff was wider than the bottom, and then it got to a point where there wasn't anything to hold on to. So when I was jumping down and grabbing hold, it uh, yeah, I wasn't, I didn't have anything to grab to. Um, let's see. Okay, so we got that. Let's do this one. What is this one? All right, so this is the... Corrupted stuff, and this is the natural resources. Okay, so that's not that's not anything we need right now. Um, come on, let's do another one. Forces of life, death, and undead. Let's see if there's something we can work on. All right, so that's the light source. Do that now. And it does, it tells you when you're in your little, um, scepter, what kind of magic you're using. May have to, um, like overly corrupt myself. I don't think I can do this one yet. Sure. Escalate. I don't know what escalate does. I don't think it's going to... Oh, I have to be 20... This is the one where I got to be 20... Wrong button. Okay. I know how to do this. I know how to get corrupted really quick. I'm starting to get that way. Take my hat off so you can see. Starting, starting to get a little bit... A little bit pasty looking. A little bit... A little gray... Ashen or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so let's get this guy over here. Man, his stuff weighs a ton. Alright, so we're we're gonna put these satchels in here. Because these things are too freaking heavy. Um leather pouch. I think I need a leather pouch for this one. Okay, so just so you know. I did get the spell where I can re resurrect myself. That's handy. If you don't have the um, a mod on that allows you to resurrect with your stuff on you um, and you die in a really, really bad place, this will allow you to bring your, your corpse back to this pad here. It will give you about 25% corruption at least, I think. Um, it gives you a decent amount. It doesn't get you halfway. It's not to a point where you can actually start using corrupted points. But yeah, it'll put a hurting on you if you're trying to get your soul or get your not your, get your body back and then get right back into the fight. You'll get all your stuff back, but you're going to have to uh, heal up some and you're going to have to get the corruption off of you before you get back into it, which is how I almost lost Frigga because I had to get all the way back over to the summoning place. <laughs> and I, did, I had to get the stuff off me first. Got to get the stank off. Um, but the other thing you get is these rides, and this will give me a little bit of corruption on some of these. <clears throat> I think I have all the stuff I need to do this. So when you get this table, which is... Wrong button. Attributes. Nope. Knowledge. I'm going to put that point in because <laughs> we can use it to move. Um... When you start getting your spells, and I think it's like the second or third spell that you get by making the spells in this book, 
you'll be able to build that that circle and when you build that circle then um you can you'll be able to summon these two mounts it's a rhinoceros abysmal rhinoceros and abysmal horse so let's summon the horse see what it looks like this is what I was saying about when you put this circle in, make sure you're putting it somewhere where um, if when you go into this summoning state, it doesn't put you in a wall because if you're, you put your wall right around it, um, it'll pop you back into the wall because that's where it, and it's wherever you're standing. It's not like a table where it'll pull you in to stand like right there. It's going to be just going to go boop, and then, then you're going to be standing there in a wall if you're not careful. So you get your mount. They only last for a while, and I don't, I haven't figured out the timer yet. Um, maybe it's in there. Uh, inventory. C gets you off. I'm, yeah, I'm so used to art. No. E, hold down to get your inventory. So they, they, you can, they will level up when they get to full level. You can't put anything into anything. Um, and I have yet to figure out how to keep them alive because they don't last very long. The other thing is if you, um, they have an inventory. So you can put stuff. Uh, where's the inventory? Oh, there. No, that's stats. Where's inventory? Not there. There it is. Okay, so you can put stuff in their inventory to carry wherever you're going. But when it disappears, everything in here goes away too. So it's not like it dumps it back into your inventory. If It's going to be gone. So be careful when you're using these guys. But they work just like the regular mounts. Same mechanism, same controls, same leveling process and all that kind of stuff. It's just that they don't last very long. And so far, I got the Rhino first because I thought it would be cool. <laughs> and it was cool, but I filled up with stuff and then <laughs> and it disappeared. I'm getting out of here. Let me out. Let me out. I'll take care of whatever funny business is going on over there. Okay, so that's that's the abysmal. Did I go too close to the dancers? Oh shoot, dancers are over here. That's why I got ah. Uh... All right, I know how to get. I know how to fix this problem. Oh come on, I can ride you because you know you're just hanging out. I, I don't like the driving mechanism on the animals. Earning is a pain in the butt, but eh, whatever. Jump. Let's go get a volunteer. All right, y'all gonna have to. Y'all gonna have to go somewhere else. So you don't get all my corruption off of me. We're gonna move you over here. Too far. There. That should be good. That should be far enough. And we're gonna move you over there with your friend. There. And you're going to stay where you're at because you're just going to kill everything. So we're going to go, and this, like I said, this is why I'm over here because I got a steady stream of um, volunteers. I'll get over here and there'll be like a named somebody and then I'll get my butt kicked. But eh, we'll see. I think I can handle these three at the gate. They're usually like level one archers and stuff, but uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, level two. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, she's done. Let's go ahead and grab her. Yes. Come on, run, dude. Run. All right, let's put her in the um, donation station. Are you coming over here? Really? All right, well, you asked for it. <laughs> Dax, it's, oh, you don't mind chopping people in half. You just don't want to be, you know, thinking their blood or something. I don't, you don't drink their blood. That's, that's a myth. Oh, shoot. I don't have any, I don't have any flasks on me. Dang it. All right, well, she'll wait there. She, she can cool out for a second. Come on, trusty steed. Let's go back and get some glass bottles. Does look kind of cool at night there. A little steamy stuff coming off of them and glowing and things. Yeah, boats and Valheim. That's a good comparison. We'll at least see how long these guys last because. Oh, slow down, dude. Right. I can't find the freaking horses. It's driving me crazy. Just need one flask. So I've been riding these guys around just to have a mount, but come on, go. I'm into everything, really. I sped up the day and night cycle. Well, sped up the night cycle and hopefully the day cycle is slowed down, I think. This this the settings in this thing are a little bit counterintuitive. Let's let's say that. Before um There we go. Come on. Off. Okay. All right. This will do it. This will get me corrupted. Oh, will you follow me again? Oh, let's, let's let you follow me. Uh, this, and then we're going to do this. And that. What? Oh, I got to put this in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a professional. I can do this all the time. All right. So this is where I'm going to, like... Do the soul flask. And you'll need these to spend corruption points. Alright, so see, that takes me on a half. I think that's as far corrupted as you can get on this. And um, if you get to this point, then you can start spending points in corruption. And you get different perks. But once you spend them, this is where you stay. You don't get better. So it's something to uh, experiment with when you're, um, when you got some Lotus Potion around. Because if you don't like the, the way your perks works, uh, you're stuck with it unless you change out your, come on, go dude, run. He won't run. I guess he doesn't run when I'm corrupted. <laughs> Seriously? Am I heavy? Oh, I'm heavy. That's probably why. Yep. That's what it is. I'm heavy because I got that whole whole thing going. All right. So let's just do this. Okay. Yes, of course, it's nighttime. Well, I'm just going to walk. We're going we're gonna to go on back to base. Oh, oh, wrong. I keep wanting to do the... directional keys you can follow her level up let me see if i can i know i can level up um so now that so so like i said now that i'm halfway game out at some point now that i can play so so um dutch if you were thinking about buying conan 3.0 which is what i'm doing right now is the test live server this is not the actual you know finished game um, but my bet is that when they do put the test live out, oh man, I gotta get off the killer stuff. That, uh, when they do put the full game out, that, that it'll probably go on sale for the base game. So if you're considering it, I'd wait just, just a little bit. 
okay, sun's coming out. So I'm I'm halfway corrupted now. So certainly I can cast this other spell. Oops. All right, so let's get the yep. We'll get this thing out here, and then we're gonna. I don't like this. I'm gonna stare at the thing posture that he takes when he pulls this thing out. It's like, I don't know what to do with this thing. I got it in my hand. I don't know what to do with it. Turn it. You you could, yeah, they could put a more menacing pose on it than just standing there staring at it like it's, you know, not really sure what this is. Uh, suddenly lost my mind. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're going for. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's a spell let's cast some spells all right so now we have all our corruption we can certainly do this one it cost me 20 percent, right is this the one yeah 20 percent corruption here we go booyah i don't know what this is gonna do i honestly don't oh i can pick again oh uh, really okay channel pure darkness and terror surround your being but i gotta have a satchels which I left back there because they're too freaking heavy. Harvest and recalls minerals. And oh, I want to do that one. We definitely got to try that one. Summon molten magma from the planet's core, causing it to erupt in the. Oh yes. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go back. Hurry. Come on, young steed. Let's go. We got some spell casting to do. This will be fun. <laughs> if you would just freaking move. I'm, I'm spending this point. I know that's where I want it. I'm not, because like I said, if you if you pick anything out of here, it's going to change these attributes over here, which I wish it would show you, because this is kind of wonky. You don't know what you're going to spend it on. It's going to change this when you spend the first point. And when you do it, then you're done. you got to stay like this, and you got to keep level. I mean, you can level them up and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to know what I'm going down the path for you know it's just it's just me that's just me but anyway i know i'm still over encumbered of course i am okay oh so slow come on yeah these things that's the problem with these reagent pouches is you're not gonna be able to carry but so many of them around because they're heavy how many do i have do i have what do i have oh it kicked me off oh it disappeared that's oh you missed it they just like poof into a bunch of sparks and they're gone but the the corrupted attributes do things like make you recover stamina faster and recover health faster so if you want to play a sorcerer build and a corrupted build um you can certainly do it even though it looks like oh well geez i only have half the health that i'm supposed to have and only half the stamina that i would normally have but the perk tree will allow you to compensate for that and then you you add to that the corrupted armor once you get to that level uh of sorcery where you can summon the basically you summon a um corrupted whatever entity here and as soon as he summon him in he drops over dead and you can take his armor for him and it's got an hour time span that it lasts when you're wearing it but um if you're fighting and killing stuff with it one it extends the timer on it Okay, so let's, what do I need? I have the leather pouch. What do I need? I think I need the satchel for this one. Cloth pouch, burlap pouch. What one do I need? We're going to, we're going to take them all. I mean, you're not, you don't move any, that's, that is one good thing about this game versus Ark. Um, you know, Ark, you keep picking up stuff until you can't move anymore. This one was like, well, you know, we'll let you move. Oh, there goes all my corruption. Dang it. Ah, it's freaking dancers. 
Yeah, that's what they tell you. Those entertainers will get you in trouble all the time. All right, we're going to go over and summon a rhino. Ride back up here. Those dancers. Stay out of the dancing bars. Young men or women. They'll get you in trouble. <laughs> Not that I've ever been to one of those bars. That's... It's funny, um, I used to travel a lot for business and um <laughs> and uh oh, where was I? Um Oh shoot, I can't remember where it was. It was like maybe it was Louisville or something like I I can't No, no, it was um No, that wasn't it. I was thinking it might have been. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. Uh, we went. We um, we had a conference in. Um... Oh shoot! What's the name of the town that's in Louisiana? That's Mardi Gras at. Um, yeah, I'm complete. See, this is what happens when you get old. Uh, ah, what is the name of the town? New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. Merle got it. Um, so we're in Mer we're in New Orleans, and um, and me and this other guy that uh, was in the same role I was at a different plant, we kind of hung out together all the time anyway. And so, and we went down early and we're like, cause he likes to eat and so do I. In fact, he didn't really, <laughs> I'll get to that. Okay. So, so, uh, so we went down early cause we wanted to get down early and try out some of the local cuisine before everybody else got down there and was telling us where to eat and do all that kind of stuff. Right, and it was right after the BP oil spill in the Gulf. So anybody who remembers that. So anyway, so we go down there and um let's get this mount. I'll talk while I'm riding. The, yeah, if I could yeah, to be dead and reanimate myself, then that would be a whole lot faster. Okay, so I could get oh, I gotta get some more blood. Dang it. Well, that's why I put them over here. All right, put them right here. I'm going to put this in here. That's what's so whole. This is what's, this is what's making me so heavy. All right. So, um, let's get, you know what I need? I'm going to need one of these. Let's, I got to figure out how to, I got to remember how you split stuff without having to split like in half. Cause that's annoying. All right. We'll just take these up there. Okay, uh, let's get the steed. Got enough stuff now. So, so we go down, we go down to New Orleans. Come to me, Rhino, and uh, and we went to this little place that was um, supposed to be known for their ro ro romalade sauce and shrimp po' boys, and um, it was just a. I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't a strip club. It was just a dive, but. They're like, oh yeah, we got a ramelade sauce, but we don't have any shrimp because you know the Gulf is wrecked right now and we can't fish it. So the only shrimp we've got is get out of the way, frozen shrimp, and uh, it's not going to be near as good. But we'll make you a shrimp pool boy. So they did, and it was it was nothing to write home about. But anyway, so the story. So you know, New Orleans is kind of a party place. So, um. Not a make calls. I was talking to her that night and she's like, Oh yeah, well, where are you and uh, your buddy? And I said, well, we're going out in a little while. And she says, where are you going? Hey, Smith. <laughs> Why am I still overburdened? Um, she's like, where are you going? <laughs> Y'all are going to a strip club, aren't you? And I'm like, no, we're not. And the truth of the matter is we were not. <laughs> this sounds so lame, but it is, it's absolutely the truth. So, <laughs> Can't take this while I'm on it. Oh, can I? Count it? Why I wasn't? That's good thing because I shouldn't have used that anyway. Um, now this is gonna take forever. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, actually, they run, they run a lot faster than this when I'm not full of stuff. Um, okay, so uh, <laughs> yeah, we went out. We went out to the Krispy Kreme donut shop. <laughs> 
Uh, she's like, yeah, y'all are at the strip club. I'm like, you're actually, no, we're at the Krispy Kreme donut shop because there's one like right down the road from where we were staying and we saw it coming in and we just had to have Krispy Kreme donuts because the hot sign was on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how lame I am. The funny, the, the funnier piece of it is the next morning we got up early because everybody's, you know, you gotta go to the meetings and stuff and everybody's, and so, so we were like, this is so good. We're going to do it again tomorrow, but we're going to get up early in the morning, which I don't do. Honestly, I really, I, especially I, since I've retired, I don't get up in the morning, but, um, uh, yeah, so we got up early and we went to Krispy Kreme and got two dozen donuts to take, to give everybody at the, at the, um, meeting that morning. And one of the other women, uh, managers went to, cause she was from there. She went to this beignet shop and got beignets for everybody, not knowing that we got Krispy Kreme and she got really offended because they ate all the Krispy Kreme donuts, but they didn't eat all of her beignets. Uh, Yeah. That doesn't take much to entertain. I guess I got to go all the way over. He's going to kill whoever I bring. Stop. You got to stay here. Sorry. Um, you got to stay here because you'll kill everything. Um, can I put something in here so I'm not barely moving? Let's put these in here. Just, oh, it can't be put in there. I'm afraid to put it in. Oh, I got a box of it. Oh, now we're going to get a sandstorm. Uh, yeah, I've got some, some 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 people waiting in the wings. You can't put um you can't put converted thralls, recruited thralls, whatever you want to call them, in here. They have to be on the rope. But once you recruit them, um you can you can use them for the zombie thing, which I don't have yet. Chris Green Donuts are bad. They are, especially when the hot sign's on. Oh, man. We can't drive past it at, here at my house. If I mean, There's not one like right down the street from us. There's one in the next town. But if we go out there and the hot sign's on, yeah. Not amazing. Like, nope, pull over. And you can't buy one. You know, you just can't. You got to buy. And, and I've tried to buy half a dozen. <laughs> I've tried to go in and go, oh, we just like six a half dozen they're like well it's only a dollar more we get the whole box let's get another volunteer come on hey that looks like dax what's up dax bop all right let's get you what this guy kills me with his blistering arrows here we go come on you just volunteered to go to the donation station <clears throat> Here we go. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna she's gonna donate. Thank you for your donation, ma'am. This in here. Craft. Let's get corrupted up in here. <clears throat> yeah, but it is a, it's kind of a racket because you you know you when you ride by there the sign says hot and you know, okay, now we're gonna have to go in there. But then there's a line wrapped all the way around it. And then you pull up and you're like, I, I would just like, I would just like two. Well, we don't, you know, we can sell them single, but they're like $3 a piece. Or you can buy um, 12 for whatever it is. And then I was like, how about a, just a half dozen? Because we, you know, my wife and I are both diabetic. We really don't need to be eating all of these. And then it's like, oh, it's only 50 cent more to get the whole dozen. Or whatever it is. Fine. Fine. Try to be better and not eat a whole dozen Krispy Kreme donuts, but you know what? That's what happens when you go in there. You're going to get a dozen. If they're hot, you're going to get a... I got to watch out. I can't get too close to those um, dancers because, you know, they 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 make me all better. Can't have that. All right, let's go. Oh, you know what? Dang it. I left my satchels back here. I'm not sure what I need. I know I'm pretty sure I don't need... I think I'm far enough away. I'm not being entertained right now. All right, let's uh, let's split this. At least reduce the weight here. We only need a couple. I'm not sure which one we need, though. That's the problem. Oh, wow, that is so heavy. 
<sighs> Leather pouch. All right, do I have one of the? I had that. That's. I think I had that. It doesn't help me. Oh, I'm gonna drink. Okay. That's what the dancer said. Here, have a drink, sir. The ones in the game, I, I you know, I wouldn't know about the other kind of dance. split these maybe maybe i'll be able to walk i don't know okay so i have do i have some of all yeah i have some of all can i move no still oh mercy all right let's get this mask off we don't need that anymore look how pretty i am <laughs> this is what you look like when you get your corruption on you Yeah, we, we, we don't have a lot of, we got, well, I can't say that. We got a lot of donut shops. It's just, some are really just not that great. I don't like cake, cake donuts. I don't really like glazed donuts. I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm more of a, of a Boston cream chocolate eclair type donut eater, you know, cause if you're going to eat one, you might as well make sure it clogs all your arteries. I got to take a little drink again. Let's just eat some of that. That'll fix me up. All right. Let's get somewhere where we can, you know, have an impact here. Before we start casting spells. Later, Dutch. Take care, man. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. All right, so let's see. We're going to get the staff out. And we're going to stare at it long and like it's our lost child. And then we're going to go, boom. All right, so let's do this. Sure. Then let's do this one. Okay, so see what I'm saying. If you're going to cast one of these high-level ones, you're going to be like, clicking through menus for a while so i they got to figure out a different way of uh, crawlers for the win <laughs> i you know they would probably be good with coffee but i don't drink coffee i know people are going to start throwing rocks at me now because i say i don't drink coffee i can't drink it it just it just tears me up um okay molten magma from the planet's core causing it to erupt from the ground that sounds cool that uses one of those big satchels okay what does this one do oh that uses a big satchel too Oh, they all use the big satchel, and I only have one of them. So what do we want to do? Do we want to get all the minerals from everything in the area? Do we want to channel pure darkness and terror to surround our being? Or do we want to make lava erupt from the ground? What do you what do you want to do? Y'all pick, because I only have enough reagents to do one. And then we're gonna have to go get some more skulls. And that is going to be fun. Let me tell you. Ulcer suck. Yes, they do. They burn too. I'm thinking the molten lava would probably be coolest, but you know, I, I'm here for y'all. <laughs> uh, lava. All right. <laughs> lava, lava. The floor is fixing to be lava, little dears. I don't know how far this casts. We'll see. Oh my god. Yeah, that's kind of. Does it do anything or just sits there? I thought it would like erupt or something. These spells can hurt me too, so I got to be careful. Actually, I think I have friendly fire off. Hey, hey, deer. Come here. I know you'll attack me. I don't have enough stamina to shoot. Oh, I can't shoot a... Oh, I can't do anything while there's... Oh, there's no ammo? What? What do you mean I don't have any ammo? yoo -hoo. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Ow, see? It's hurting me. Gotta be hurting him. Really? Okay, well that, you know, I guess if you were, like, trying to block a hallway or something... Because look, if I go near it, I start taking damage. 
That was less impressive than I thought it would be. That really was. And my <laughs> trusty steed is gone. All right. I think that's all of the oh no this is the cloth pouch that's all i need for that okay let's let's do another one we can do a different one um let's do all right so here we go let's do this side sure. and then let's do that one <laughs> Maybe they get more impressive as you level up. I don't know. Pure darkness and terror, or let's do the harvest one. Let's see what kind of crap. Because, <laughs> you know, I can't move as it is. Might as well get some more stuff. See what kind of area impact it does. Nothing they had to give. This is supposed to get me all the resources around me. Oh, whoa. Oh! Wow. Did it all go into my inventory? Oh yeah, yeah, got a bunch of stuff. Okay, well that'd be a good harvest one. Put all my satchels. Yeah, that's all the satchels. Okay, so we're gonna have to go go back to the, uh, the clubhouse over here. And um, we're gonna have to deck out. We're gonna go, <laughs> uh, actually, I'll see if I go over there next to the, to the entertainer, so get me all happy again and I won't be able to cast the spell. I think I have one more of those cloth bags back in that box over there if I can get to it. Come on. <laughs> this this half my stamina not regenerating is rough. Yeah, I don't know. I've got a I do have a recipe now because I got a um a name thrall armor who can build the bearer backpack. So I don't know if that gives me extra slots and or reduces my carry weight or not. I gotta try that out. I haven't built one yet. I can't remember. Yeah really. Well see if I was gonna if I was gonna do the whole corrupted thing, I would go back and redo my specs and do all the corrupted fast regen of stuff and um and i wouldn't be in such a bad spot okay we got three of these all right let's just let's just do this one we'll sign that what what utter darkness looks like sure. Is that it Conjure gust of air. No, this this one, right? Yep. And then it's this one. Pure darkness and terror around your being. Because it doesn't get dark enough in this game. Oh, oh yeah. I can see where this would be beneficial. There's an invisibility one too, and I think you can cast both of them at the same time, which would be like cool. Um, do I have any more that I can cast? Oh, you know what I ought to do? Let's see what this works. Um, let's see what happens if I do this. It's kind of counterproductive to do this, but. If I want to be able to see in darkness while I made everybody else blind, I guess I could do that, huh? Ah. Of course, now everybody's going to see where I'm at. <laughs> so, like I said. Oh, and there goes the spell. All right, so that's done. Um, Do I have any other ones that I can do now that I'm that I need to be fully corrupted with? Oh, stop doing the little... Um, was there any in here? I think there were just two. Yeah, these are just simple ones. That's not it. Come on. Yeah, this is not a fast process. I think if they could speed it up a little bit, that would be good. Um, Will Force is undead. 
Uh, what is this one? Fail of time, space, a glimpse, past, present, and future. What, did we try this? Maybe. I think this is the... What is this one? Focus rare resources. Oh, this is the one that you find stuff with. Okay. So we did the, the cool stuff, more or less. All right, I'm not gonna make y'all watch me stagger over there. Let's uh, let's get some get some command prompts on here. Oh, uh... I didn't do it. Damn. Nope, wrong thing. Okay, yeah. Let's move. Let's move a little bit faster than that, because we got we got we got skellies to kill. Miz loves to kill skellies, especially ones that are carrying like big, huge barrels of dynamite. All right, let's unload some junk here. That um, these over here. And these red bugs up there. Yeah, so I harvested a decent amount of stuff. That's cool. Over here. This other reagent pouch over there. So, so yeah, I would think if you are playing now, you ought to go ahead and invest in getting as many of these reagent things as you possibly can, so you can make those pouches. This. Let's go ahead and make him that. Oh, I was out of arrows. I don't know how I ended up being out of arrows. Fix that problem. Somewhere I probably moved my stack of arrows and put them in the wrong place. That would be my bet. Okay, we've got all of our reagent stuff put away so we can move. Um, I need to fix this pick. And then we're going to grab a hold to Frigger, Frigga, and we're going up to the Skelly Cave. And we're going to kill some stuff. I hope. I don't know, we might get killed ourselves. But at least I can resuscitate my corpse now. Because I got to get 20 skulls to make the next spell, and I want to try to get to the um, place where you can do the zombie grave thing. I mean, I know I put one in the in the sorcerer's keep over in the other side of the map, but I want to be able to do the spell. <coughs> All right, this one's. Make sure I've got all this junk off of me that I don't need to carry. Got in there for now. Anything else good? Probably need all the rest of it, right? I don't need to carry that. Well. Yeah, I'm not carrying the staff. I don't need to lose that too. When I get killed. <laughs> you notice I say when I get killed, not if I get killed. Okay, we got our stuff. Um, where's Frigga? Frigga, where are you? Oh, there she is. So you give you an alpha to play in this game because she can get her wolf costume on. Really not losing a whole heck of a lot of corruption here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's because I'm in creative mode. That's why. Get back out of that. If we don't want to cheat, we want to do the game the way it's supposed to be. Come on, give me all my health back. 
How's, how's, how, do you have any food on you? I do have food. Okay. Well, I have food. I have a little bit of food. That should do me. Got drink, right? I can get some more drinks. There. Plenty of refreshment. All right, let's go ahead and... Ah. Drink a little bit. <clears throat> and eat a little bit. Okay. My health will recover as I'm running. Let's... Where'd she go? She's her somewhere. There she is. Her health is recovered. Let's go. Let's go kiss some skellies. Okay. It may take me a minute to get over to the other side of where the skelly cave is anyway. Oh, did I leave? I left my pick back there. Did I? But I did. I did. I don't really need it in here. Because I'm not going to be uh, farming. Actually, dang it. I'm not really sure what gets the most skulls. The pick or the axe or the whatever. I need to, I need to get maximized skulls yeah that's much better how uh stamina i not pick all right and we are gonna put this here because we're gonna need it I don't really need that. So let's put this there. Okay. Ready to go. So the goal here is going to be going to this cave and there's going to be a bunch of spiders and we'll have to go through them, but then we get to the skellies. And then if we can lure the skellies out of the cave, then light, well, that was weird. <laughs> life will be a little bit better. If we cannot, we're going to have to go in there and that's going to be, that's, it's just going to be a mess. That's what it's going to be. You know, any, any time there, Frigga, you can help me out here. What are you doing? Are you on? Guard me. Yes. Let's make sure. Absolutely. That's the other thing that's up here is coal. There's a lot of coal up here. So when you're building your initial camp, you got all these good resources. You don't have to use your wood for um, cooking your metal or your food. You can go up here and get coal and it cooks better. I don't know if it cooks faster, but it, the coal lasts longer than the wood will. Probably cooks faster. I would assume that would be the same kind of mechanic, but... I didn't make the game, so I can't tell you for sure. So many spiders up here. And the lone crocodile, for some reason, is up here. Ow. Get him. Get him. Get him, Frigga. You could help, you know? There. All right, crocodilian. You gotta die too, I'm afraid. Just don't need him sneaking up behind me. I, I know it's wasteful not skinning and stuff like that, but. Yeah, that's the way it is. Gonna run up here, 
Try to stay away from the big freaking spider that's up here. Because we're going to have a three skull skelly in here that we're going to have to deal with. Anyway. It'd be so much easier if I could find a freaking horse. I thought there used to be horses up around there, but not so much anymore. Spit that stuff at me. Yeah, see, her health is staying pretty much maxed out all the time, which is what I need. <laughs> I don't need my follower to be dying all the time. I'll do that. That's my job, to die all the time. <laughs> okay, let's go back here and get some skulls. We got to get the skulls. Come on. Where's that spider? He's over there. He's back over there hiding, waiting to pounce out, ruin my day. Dun, dun, dun. Now I've just about where what level am I on now? Oh well see, you know, if I would stop goofing off on a level. Stop it. It's like every time you stand still, something wants to kill you. I have my level here. I'm at 57, so there's only three more levels to go. And I haven't gotten all the magic stuff yet. But that's because I spent the first probably 30 hours playing doing the wrong stuff. So that's why I would tell you that if you're going to play starting off, it's really not about your levels. It's about going to the right place. Get you a base set up down there where I've got mine. That's pretty central to where you gotta go. And go get the um go get the magic book as fast as you can. And you know, get you a get you a decent fighter thrall, whether it's a named one or a level three or something, and then progress your way up over there just so you got something watching your back. Or just run in naked, you know, because death runs are a thing, and you can just keep put a bedroll outside and just keep going in there until you get there and try to run as fast as you can. And that's probably what I'm going to do when the game is released. And I do my, um, my marathon play. I'll probably just do a death run until I get the book just so I've got it and I can start getting stuff as I go. But I mean, this, this is not easy solo playing, getting in this, some of these reagents that you have to have. I mean, one good thing about the, uh, the, another good thing about the location back there is that there's a Defari camp up above the hill. That's where I was telling there's some metal nodes and regularly they have a bearer, bearer up there. And if you kill the bearer and take their backpack, you can get a bunch of resources. Just don't open the backpack until you're at a place where you can dump it off because there'll be a bunch of stuff in there. Um, but I was able to get thick hide and alchemical base through there without even having to ever make it when I was first getting when I first built the base over there so these spatters that are in this cave are not that that um, beefy just so freaking many of them and you got these black hand guys over here that if they get a, a whiff of you then they're going to come over And try to mess up your day like this. Oh, we got an one over here. We'll hit her back. Hey, Louise. Okay, fine. There. See? All done. You got anything good on? No. 
all that when we could have just snuck in. Thanks, Frigga. Um, see, there's brimstone all in here. Not that I can carry it. And more spiders. This is where the death counter may come in handy tonight. This is not a new cave. Everybody who's played knows this cave. Ow. But it's a good place to get skellies. And an Iker, if you want to get in here and farm spiders, these spiders are not tough. They're just they're just a bunch of them. If I wanted to get Iker, I could get a boatload of it. And then and brimstone in here without even getting them very far in. Now's where things get dicey. Because we're gonna have spiders and then we're gonna get skellies. And then like it's gonna get it's gonna get crazy up in here. Where's the skellies? And if the boss skelly comes, well, see, there's metal in here too. So there's all kind of good stuff in this cave. Just dangerous. Yep, there's some spiders. Oh, come on. Seriously? That a loud one? That's a loud one. Gotta die. Okay. All right, so that should be most of the spiders. They'll respawn. There's the skellies. This guy dead? And when one comes, they're all coming. Where's the boss? I don't see him. He's over there somewhere. Yep, here they come. Here they come. Oh, see, see, when they... Oh, Lord. Ah, they got me up. Ah! No, this is not what I wanted. No, no, no. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Oh, crap. Frigga, do something. Holy snikies. Oh, and the boss is here, too. That's freaking awesome. Get me out of here. Yes, I'm running. And I'm telling Frigga to come too, because they'll follow us, I think, out to the front of the cave, if she'll follow me. Come on. Let me drink something. I'm, I'm hurt. Come on. Oh, that's skelly. Oh. All right, well. You're just one. And just stop. Stop. Oh, here comes all of them. Oh, crap. I'm not going to get stuck in another cluster of them. Ah. Bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. All right. Yeah, let's get bring them out of here. Dang it. Come here, you. Nope. Nope. Don't let him start swinging. Don't let him start swinging, dude. All right. Frig, I've told you to come out here. You're not going to come out here. Can't help you. Oh, there you are. Okay, you're good. See, you're fine. You're fine. A little scratch. Okay. Going back in. I didn't get any skulls. Let's see. Does six get me a skull? Well. No, that didn't give me nothing either. I'm not getting skulls. Oh, I got two. Okay. All right. Well, that's better than none. I got 18 more to go. Let 
Anybody else? Anybody else want to volunteer? Come on. Spiders are going to start respawning in here, and it's going to be a problem. Okay, yeah, you come on down here. Come on. That's right. We can both take you down. Don't run. Oh. Um, all right, we'll get this guy. Ooh, thank you, Frigga. I needed a sword to the face. Let's see, maybe a pick? Let's try a pick. Oh, there comes some more company, I think. Or not. Oh, yeah, there's some more company. Hello. I can't get up on that rock. Come on. Where'd you go? You're in there. Oh, he's stuck in there. Come on. See, the problem with them getting stuck in these little things, the lag mites or whatever, is they can hit you and you can't do nothing to them, which is unfortunate. Oh, there he goes. Oh, nope. He's got a friend. He's got a friend. Don't both of y'all get in there. Oh, no, he's going to go back up there. Oh, he's figuring out a bit different. Oh, thank you. Let's um let's do this. No, that's not it. Oh, he got out. Okay. I am over encumbered. Big surprise. Why is she punching me? She doesn't have a sword anymore? That's not good. Oh, her sword broke. No, why is she... What is she doing? She's got a sword. What are you doing, Frigga? Lost your mind? Um, I need to hurry up and chop this guy up. That's why I'm a bird. I got all this fried meat on me. <laughs> Three skulls. Yeah, 17 more to go. Why are you not using your sword? There. Use your sword. Boss guy's going to be down here in a minute. Oh, did they all respawn? Oh. Oh, don't get stuck in there again. Don't get stuck in there again. Oh, see, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. Come down here. Yeah. Where are you at, Frigga? Where are you at, Frigga? I have friendly fire turned off because I'd be well, <laughs> I'd be being counterproductive and uh, killing my own person. Own. Don't know which. Anybody know which implement gonna give me more skulls? I'm getting this rotten meat. Dang it. Still three. Okay, well, we've killed a bunch of them, and so evidently the cleaver is not a thing to use. Need to take a little drink. Yeah, let's go in there and 
See if we can't get some more mayhem to happen. I don't know if there's anybody else in here but the boss. Looks like he's by himself now. Oh, and he's pissed. Oh, he's got friends. He's got friends. There's, these guys never miss either. Where are you? Come here, you. Oh, Jesus. That's not the you I wanted. I want to get him outside. Bleeding. I'm bleeding. Is he still coming or is he? Oh, yep. He's coming. He's coming. Come on, Frigga. Out here. Out here where we can move. I know he'll come out here because he did earlier. He didn't follow us. Come on. No, no, don't go down there. Oh, he hits so hard. When he hits, he's glitched. Glitched in the rock. Uh-oh, maybe he's not. I don't know. All right, we're in it to win it now. Oh. I don't know how this is going to work out. Oh, I don't want to be here. Uh-oh. See, that's why I don't want to be here. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, not want to be there. Not, not in, oh, no. No, Stan. Don't want to be on the pointy end. He's out, he's out, he's out, he's coming. Oh, oh, ow, 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 move. Move. Come on, out here. Got jumps, if I remember right, too. Think. Got a big swing. Such bony arms. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wrong end, wrong end, pointy end. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Oh, he's he's coming. He's, uh, he's coming out here. Come on. You want to come out here? Come on. That's right. You don't want to come out in the sunlight. You're free. Get your health back up, though. Can't let you go back all the way down there. You'll heal up, and then I'll be... Oh, 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 wrong end. Oh, oh! Ha! Miss me. Here. The thing is, the skull I get off of him is not going to do me any good with my potions, because it's not what I need. It's He's, he's the boss skelly. He's got a boss skelly head. I'm running out of stamina if I don't watch out. Frigga's doing good. Frigga's Frigga's fine. Oh, get on the other side of that. Let's let's drink a little bit of go go juice. Monster sunshine. I'm gonna break in my axe. Ah! Oh, good. The spiders are back. Cause we, you know, we we weren't having enough fun without spiders. Now we get to have spiders too. I think we're gonna take this guy. That would be my bet. But you know. I've been wrong before. 
this thing of getting me heal back whenever I get hit hard is is a bonus. I do like that perk. What was that? Oh yeah, you're going down, buddy. You're going down. We're gonna get your your um treasure chest and everything. Uh oh. Oh no. No stamina. No stamina. No stamina. You know, you can dodge in this game. <laughs> you can. I can't, but you can. Oh, spiders. Again with the spiders. Come here. Gotta get the stuff. Oh, oh, look! I got a, I got a legendary axe. Yeah. All right. I, there's other stuff. I gotta go. We gotta go back in. We gotta go down here. What kind of axe did I get? <laughs> Cause we don't want to tempt fate, and you know, what does this do? Info. Creature known as the executioner once wielded this is unknown. How many eyes? Blah blah blah. Or it has sunk its teeth into them and addition. Yeah. Well, it instantly destroy any opponent that has suffered significant enough damage. Ooh. It's legendary, and it's just gonna get jacked up in here. So let's let's just not use it unless we have to. Who are you fighting back there, fighters? I need help with these skellies that are gonna be up here. Come on. One down here. Yeah. There you go. There we go. We don't just need to be fighting spiders. They don't give us the skulls that we need. Oh, good. Word. There. How many of these things are in here? We need to call raid or somebody, whoever does um, bug infestations. All right, there should be, oh, skellies, skellies with, with arrows. Oh, ow. Uh oh, oh no, now I got a sword guy too. Guys never miss. These are not stormtroopers, that's for sure. Okay, that's cool. Rebound off your shield and kill him. That's good. Let's see what fit. Does this give us anything? No. Oh, it did. It did give us... Okay, we need arrows. So, I guess... The axe... What happened? I broke the chest. I'll take his stuff out of it. I guess the axe is the way to go. I uh, don't want any of this rotten meat. Um, And I really don't need all these bones. I need these... Belly heads. Actually, I'll give you the bones. Carry some bones, please. You don't have any food. Ooh, that's not good. Good. I'm gonna give you the best meat money can buy. Ow! Hit him! Okay, there. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Hit this guy again. What is he going to go? Mano a mano, fist to fist. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm getting skulls now. This is this is. You use the hatchet. That's what you. Okay. Axe, whatever. I'm gonna break my. Yeah, so we just farm skellies, I guess. Or 
of skelly heads too. Um, all right, so there should be some chests in here. Should be a legendary chest in here. Hope that's not one I just broke. I'm gonna read. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in here. Oh, here we go. Got more company. Another volunteer. Come on. Two more volunteers. The boss is going to respawn here in a minute and I'm going to be screwed. I don't think my axe is going to make it through another. Shot at him. Ow. Well, we got nine skulls. Eleven more to go. Should be a box in here somewhere. That's the way out. We don't want to go that way. Looks like danger ahead over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's danger in here. Oh, crap. More stuff. More spiders and lots and lots of skellies. Don't get stuck in a corner. Don't get stuck in a corner. Doing it again, dude. What the heck? Get rid of this guy. You, not Stormtrooper, are dead. Where's, where's, where's my friend? Did she not come in here? That might, that might be bad. Oh, the skellies are fighting the spiders? That's funny. Oh. You still in here? Where is the... Uh -huh. So I guess if you're, you know, looking for a place to farm skulls, this is the place to go. There you go, friend. Don't need rotten meat. I really don't know where the chest is. There should be a chest in here. Did I break the chest? Oh. That hatchet's not going to help me there. Ah. Out of here. Oh. Ow. You got to move. Now I get Scott right back in the same place. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta move. I gotta move. Drink, drink, drink. Run, run, run. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, there's so many. Why do they keep getting me in the corner? Well, I guess that's a good tactic to have, but still, it sucks for me. Harvest these guys. Don't need a hiker, hiker, whatever it is. All right, this is a bad place to be encumbered. Lots of bones.
personal skills. Twelve. That's my. Oh, my axe is about shot. I really would like to find the box that's supposed to be in here. Before I leave this place, up here, and over there, nothing there. More skillies over there. Should be a legendary chest in here. I think you got to be a level sixty though to get it open. So. Let's just pretend that's the case. Go back out this way. Hey guys. Ow. That's not fair. Very mean of you to do that. She is not going to come in here with me in this room. Evidently. And this is not what I want. I don't want to be in a corner. I don't want to be sundered. Ow. Alright, you're dead. Oh. Uh-oh. In the corner, in the corner, in the corner, in the corner. Get out. Get out. Oh, no. Where's the door? Where's the door? I mean, if she's not going to come in here with me, I'm going to do this myself. Oh, I heard her. She's in here now. Let's go. Oh, armbands broke. Armor starting to, to get wore out. Skelly's laying around here. Oh, there's one. There's no chest over here either. I could have sworn there's a chest in here. Back here. Oh, there it is. Huh. That's not what I'm looking for. Hey. Alright, well, I guess that's... This is just the other way, the other entrance. With lots of spiders. Alright, we came in here for skulls. We're getting more skulls. Oh, we almost don't have... Oh! <laughs> My axe is almost done. And then we'll have to use the special axe. That I really didn't want to use, but... Uh, there's supposed to be another chest in here. It's really upsetting me that I can't find it.
Surely I didn't break it. I'll watch Dr. Google after this is all over with and go back and I go, oh, that's where it was. It was right in front of me the whole time. It's definitely not in here. Oh, crap. Big guy. Ah, we don't have enough. Come on. We're, we're leaving. We're out. Come on. Follow me. I don't have enough power in my, my, uh, yeah. I don't have enough. Oh no. Get me up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I don't have enough. Come on. Come on, Frigga. Come on. Oh no. Frigga, come back to me. Please. Oh, there you are. We did it. We made it in and out. We killed a bad guy. Oh, no. Oh, bad guy's coming after us. Holy smokes. Let him go after that dude. Oh, that didn't last long. Oh, he's gonna kill all the spiders. Gonna come after me now? Oh yeah, he's coming. Oh, I can't, I can't do that. All right, we're gonna try this sucker out. I have a legendary repair kit back at the base. I don't know if I can repair this or not, but at this point is what it is. XP's baby, XP's. Might take a while, but we're gonna get him. We are gonna get him. Where is this thing gonna? Uh oh, uh oh. Pointy end, pointy end, pointy end. So I need to get the backstab perk. That's because if he's focusing on her, I can get extra points, but uh, whacking at him from here. But I don't have that yet. No stamp. Maybe I get another cool axe from him when we kill him. Oh, pointy in, pointy in. Oh yeah, this this whole get your stuff back in fifteen seconds from the last hit you got is is definitely a perk to get. And it's all the way at the end of the tree. Or, um, what is it, Vitality? But definitely worth having. See? I'm gonna back away, I get my health back, and watch out! Come on, we can do it, we can do it. We can get him, we got him, we got him, he's on the run! Yes, two of them. We killed two of them. <gasps> I got the hood. Oh, this is a good hood. Let me see. Let me get. Let me hack him up first. Then we're gonna gonna get his. Oh, I didn't see a key. I guess once you get a key, you can't have two. Um. Okay. So this hood is pretty freaking awesome. Executioner's Hood. It has strength of plus six on 
your um, weapon and it counts as heavy armor. Boom. Oh, it looks freaking awesome, too. Look at that. That's awesome. Yay! All right, well, let's see what she can carry. Because I can't carry much. Got the skull. Got one key. We got 13 out of... Uh, E20, but I'm I'm my my weapons are busted and I'm over encumbered. Can she carry anything else? How much does so actually this weighs more? Um how much does a shield weigh? One point seven five. Okay, you don't really need a shield. <laughs> Let's go. I still can't move. Come on. Something else I, I've got too much of. I don't need these rocks. I definitely don't need chitin. I don't need ichor. I don't need rotten meat. Oh, still heavy. Still heavy. Uh, what are these? Steel arrows? Uh, I was going to drop. Right, let's get rid of that. I don't need the crystal. No five. Ugh. Dang it. Why is everything so difficult? Let's see. I can eat some stuff. Maybe that'll bring me down. 104. Alright, let's get rid of this honey. <laughs> there. Can I move? I still can't move. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, I really don't need magenta dye, I don't think. I don't know. What do you think? It looks pretty? No. Get rid of it. Dye's gone. Does that get me under? No, that doesn't get me under 100. Dang. Oh. It's killing me. Weight thing. Um. All right. Well, still doesn't do it. How much is that way? Point five. Probably not enough. Let's half this. A hundred percent. Can I move? Nope. Okay. This is getting terribly annoying. Um. This thing gets broken every time I go out. I'm thinking I'm gonna replace it. It gives me a name, man. Me, I can move. All right, let's go. Come on, Frigo, let's go. How's your health? Miss False Hope. Did you level up? Are you completely leveled? Let's see. I don't know. Well, no, not me. Miss False Hope. Is she leveled? Not quite. Right, what did she get to? Level 9. She's almost there. She got good perks. She got um, Baron Traveler. Baron's Traveler. So she's got... Um, more health and more stamina. She's got redeemed, which gives her more health. And then I don't know what this last perk's going to be, but she's got some decent perks. And I didn't die. I haven't died yet. <laughs> I don't know if I yet either. See my cool battle axe? Meryl, were you here when I got that? That was the first, the first undead dragon we killed or not dragon but whatever he is behemoth or well, i don't know what the heck that monstrosity whatever he is the big ugly thing the big ugly lizard <clears throat> ah, okay well we killed two of those and a bunch of skellies but now my my axe is just about broke so i gotta go back home 
We got 13 skulls. I needed 20, but 13 is not bad. Much more than I thought I was going to get. I wish I had... I wish there was a spyglass so I could see what the heck that is. Because I need a xanth, baths, whatever, priest or priestess. And every once in a while I'll see one over here, but by the time I see it, I usually they're attacking and I end up killing them. Most of the time it's Mithra. But I know, I know this false hope back there is just going to wail on them. Oh, it is, it is, it is. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay. I'm going to take this. And you are going to take this. Whoops. Let's, let's not kill anybody, okay? We're not killing anybody this time. We're just knocking them out. Okay? Good? Are we are we on the same page? Are you sure? Nod would be good. Okay, I'll take it. You know, blank stairs. Good. All right. Um, let's knock some people out. I think this is one of the Xanth priest, priest, priestess, priestesses. We'll find out. Oh, you gotta go. Ooh. Oh yeah, it is. It's a it's it's a zath zathlu. If I can live through this, take all of that freaking daggers. So many daggers. Ow. All right, that should knock you out. Good, good. You're next. That's what I wanted. Okay. Well, that's not bad, but I only have one one slot in this wheel. She wins it. Because that's the religion thing I have back there, and I need to get a person for it. Um, Where's my rope? Here's my rope. Ha -ha. Look at this. This has turned out to be a really good run. Didn't die. Killed two of the giant whatever things they are. Abominations, I think, is what they're called. I don't know. Maybe. And uh what's up, dude? He's he's garden. He's garden. Alright, let's crank her up. There we go. That is something else I sped up. I sped up the um the uh, wheels of recruitment and the day night cycle. And the taming of the or the raising of the baby animals. But I didn't increase the harvest rates or the damage or anything. So everything I'm doing, this I'm not in admin mode now, is what you could do with the character on official, I guess. I mean, that's I don't know if they boosted the rates in the test live or not. I can't I can't speak to that. I don't really know. But for now, we're good. I think you know we're gonna survive. <coughs> cool hood too. I loved. I, I was. That's one of the only places, I think it's the only place that spawns is through that, getting that abomination dude killed. So I got a, a key, I got a cool axe, wherever it went, five. Yeah, see, cool axe, I got this hood, it's just not easy to get. Yeah, good score, got a priestess. All right, now we're on our way home. So I, uh, I'll just say now, thank you so much for coming out. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like, um, share it with your friends, let them know that we've got this channel going and come on out and take a look. Thank you again so much for the 4,000 hours. I, I, it just amazes me and I really do appreciate it. Um, also, don't forget, if you've never subscribed to Old Gamers Never Die, to reach down there and hit that big red rectangle. It helps me out with all the YouTuberisms, let people know I'm out here. And, you know, it's Sunday night. Usually it's Saturday night, and I don't mind going a little bit late on Saturday night, but I know people got to work. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of cut the stream here, head back to the base, and uh, log out for the night. But thank you all for coming. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the support you've given me. And this is Julie signing out.